welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this Dollar Tree racetrack lantern that I have seen so many different variations of floating around Pinterest lately. You know, there, I've seen so many different kinds, so many different colors, and this is my take on it. So anyway, stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Hey y'all, let us get started. So first off, what you're going to need, you can use one of these little wooden signs from Dollar Tree if you want to, but my Dollar Tree has been kind of scarce um, in the supplies department lately, and I only have this one, and um, I have plans for it, so, <laughs> and I think it's kind of small. Or you can use one of these. This is just a wooden panel that I got at Walmart. It is 10 inches by 10 inches, and I think it suits this craft a little bit better than the small ones. You're going to need that. You're also going to need a pack of these Hot Wheels race tracks from the Dollar Tree. You can see it has two of the race tracks in a pack. You're also going to need some of these wooden craft cubes. Okay, and then I have my hot glue gun and some glue sticks and some E6000 and some spray paint. Now for the spray paint, I'm gonna be using this hammered paint from Rust-Oleum in the color copper. Alrighty, so let's flip this puppy over. And you know what? I will worry about taking this label off later. Yeah. Anyway, I left it on there because I wanted to make sure I had the right size. Because then I'm going to tell y'all a size and it ain't going to be right. <laughs> and then y'all are going to come after me. But anyway, what we're going to use these little doohickeys for is we're just going to put some little feet on this guy. Now, I know the ones floating around Pinterest says it's a, um, what do they call it? Like a, a racetrack lantern. I don't think they look much like lanterns, but um, that's what we're going to roll with. We're going to say it's a lantern. Ah, I'm getting hot glue everywhere. All right, so anyway, we're just gonna take these blocks and we're just gonna put them right here in the corner, like so, make sure they're kind of squared up. And these are kind of small, I might put more than one. I ain't sure, but anyway, let's just put that down here. And you know what, I might put like one here and one here. Let's try that, you wanna try that? Let's try that. Just putting this right there. I know, you know, Dollar Tree and, you know, all the time, oh, I need something to wipe the glue off. It may not be, you know, all perfectly symmetrical. Their little blocks and things may not always be the exact same size, but um, the, these little square ones are close. So that's what I'm going to do there. And let's get, where did it go? Oh, for heaven's sake. Here we are. Let's get, you hear my cats over here? Oh my goodness, the kittens are getting big enough to where they can walk around. And there was a jailbreak earlier. They came out of the craft room and they were heading down the hallway. And here comes Mama Cat yelling about it. So um, anyway, all right. So I'm just gonna glue those three together like so. And I'm gonna do that in each one of the corners. All right, so we have all of the little feetsies put on our block here and let's open this up. I could have done this off camera cutting a, so not take up all y'all's time. Aha! Uh -huh. These little blue doohickeys, these, these little connectors just um, popped right off. But anyway, you're not going to be seeing these edges here, so I'm not real concerned about um, cutting them off. And now I'm trying to decide if I want which side I want to put out. Do I want to put this side? or I like that because it's more textured. I like this side. That one there. So I think I'm going to put this so that that is facing outward. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to glue this in and you're going to crisscross them like so. So I'm going to put this one here and now let's put some glue down. And I'm going to use a lot of glue because I don't want this to come apart. Like I said, you're not going to see this part because we're going to put a bunch of filler in there. So don't worry if your glue is showing, okay? And I want to get out another glue stick. Um, I'm initially sticking this down with the hot glue and then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and reinforce it with the E6000, okay? Because if you're like me and have cats, dogs, and feral children running around and they decide that they wanna bump this and knock it over and then it's just, you know, and that ain't good. All right, so let's put this down there. You see how we're just crossing them like so? And I'm trying to get the center. That looks okay. It looks all right to me. Why are you not going down in there? 
All right, so I'm just gonna hold this down. I'll put a bunch of glue down in there. Now let's turn it. Let's turn it. All right, hold that down. And then we're just putting some glue right. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Putting some glue down there. Okay, let's make sure. Okay, that's looking good. Now I've got this doohickey here and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know where this came from. I want to say I got it at Lowe's, okay? But, you know, you can get, like, little wooden caps like this at Lowe's, Home Depot, pretty much any store that has, you know, like, home improvement supplies. And it wasn't very expensive at all. Can't remember exactly. It's been a while since I've purchased this, okay? Which is why I'm having a total brain fart and can't remember where it came from. But, um, yeah. I have this thing. <laughs> And let me see if I can move the camera a little bit. You can see all my mess back here. But um, I'm trying to get this where it's even. And then I'm just going to glue it on the very top like so. Okay. Y'all are going to think I'm crazy. But y'all know how I am sometimes. I had glued this little wooden piece to the top here. And then I took a step back. And I wasn't 100% thrilled with it. Okay. I want some more texture on this. I'm not happy with the lack of texture. So th this is what we're going to do. I'm going to backtrack a minute. This is what we're going to do. I'm taking some of this rope that I have from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm looking and I think I'm out of the brown kind. But I have this white nautical rope from Dollar Tree. And I want to glue some of this on there to give us some texture. Because I'm, I'm not liking how plain this is. Y'all know I don't like plain stuff. Um, so I'm just going to run this rope. Oh, come on. I'm just going to run this rope under and down the sides here, and then we're going to glue that in place, okay? So let's back it up. Now look down in here. I'm going to put the glue, and then I'm going to stick this rope to it. I'll stick it right down in there. There we go. All right, this is looking better. And then I'm just going... Oh, i got to get this moss off there. Eh. All right, now let's put a little bit of glue here. And just glue that down. All right. See, that's looking better. This is giving us a little bit of texture that we otherwise wouldn't have if we didn't put this stuff on here. All right. So, let's do that. I'm going to bring it all the way down. Let's trim the end. There we go. All right. Okay, just stick that down. And now I'm going to do that exact same thing on this piece, okay? I'm going to do that on this piece here. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything down here. I don't know. I might glue a piece of rope around here too, just to give us, like I said, more texture. So let me work on this and I'll, I'll try to decide. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. And now I decided that this side over here this side over here is going to be the front, okay? So now I'm going to start gluing it around the edge, but this is the back. So I'm going to start over here on the back. So let's just flip this up for a moment. And I'm just going to put the glue here. And I'm going to wrap this rope pretty much all the way around the base. Like I said, this is all going to be painted. This is all going to be painted with that copper paint, okay? So... I'm just going to continue gluing this all the way around, and then I'm going to take it outside, and I'm going to paint it. Okay, so this is basically what we have, and I know that this is kind of difficult to see, but you know what? At the end of the video, you can see it, and you've already seen it at the beginning of the video. But anyway, this is what we have, and I'm, I'm very happy with how this has turned out so far. Um... I'm looking for, I'm trying to decide what sort of candle holder to put in the center if, and if I, if I want to put in a candle holder, which I think I do. Um, I'm going to be using a battery powered light and this don't, don't put a real candle in here because you know, heat rises and you're going to, um, you're going to melt all this up here and that ain't going to be good. It won't be good at all. But anyway, I have this orange one, um, like the ones that I used in my previous video for the pumpkin. I have this one, and then I have this gold one. And I'm not exactly certain which one I want to use, because these are the flowers that I have. Now, these flowers came from Walmart, this bundle here. 
I thought was so pretty. It comes with these pumpkins. Um, I think there's three pumpkins in here. There's a white one and then there's those. But anyway, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, my table is small, guys. I'm going to slide the leaves and things sort of like up to the top and I'm just going to cut this. Now listen, I'm not, I don't think I want to glue down any foam right there. Um, I think I just want the flowers to, I'm just going to glue them down, I believe. I don't think I want to put any foam in this. Um, I'm looking around, I have some foam over here, I, but I don't think I want to use it. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to trim these flowers off because for the candle holder, I want it to be, um, I want it to have like a, a sturdy, you know, setting flat down on there, you know, and not sitting on top of some foam or something. Um, so anyway, I'm going to keep, here's a little pumpkin. How cute is that? I need to take that tag off, but I'm going to cut these flowers apart and then we'll put those in the little doohickey. All right, y'all, so I've been going back and forth with the candle holders. I like this orange one. Okay, I, I like the orange one. If I don't like it, I'll just take it out and use another one. <laughs> but anyway, let's start with the pumpkin here, this little white pumpkin. And I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to completely take this out and just glue them flat down in the container, okay? So let's pull these out. And these are the leaves that came on it. So let's take a look here. And you see the little nubby nubby? I'm cutting the little nubbies off. Your nubbies can get in the way sometimes and we don't need that. So I'm just putting a blob of hot glue right there. And I'm just going to glue that down. I will put another blob of hot glue to hold that one in place. There we go. I'm trying to get this centered um, I really like these leaves. I think these leaves are just so pretty. And I want the leaves to come out a little bit. There we go. I want the leaves to come out. Okay, and then we'll just glue this pumpkin, this pumpkin down. <laughs> these pumpkin. This pumpkin! This pumpkin right here. Okay, so now I know how far back to move that candle holder. Because I kind of want, like I said, I want this pumpkin like front and center. You see what I'm saying? Because I really like it. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I want to use these pumpkins because I don't like, I don't think that this right here is really going to go <laughs> with everything with the colors um, because they're all sort of bronzy and brown and then this is sort of like, I don't know, I just, I don't like the way the, the black and the white, the contrast is what I'm saying. Actually, I have a bag of pumpkins, hold on. All right, I do have this bag of pumpkins. Um, this came from Dollar General last year, okay? And you know they always have stuff like this out. You can find different colored pumpkins all over the place. But anyway, I think that's what I'm going to use here in a minute to put a pumpkin on either side of this. I might use those little teal ones. I don't know yet. But what I'm going to do, let's get into some of these other flowers and trying to decide which ones I want to use next because this... That's just so big. These flowers are huge, y'all. <laughs> and like I said they were from Walmart and they're not very expensive at all. So let's just cut the end off here. The kittens are over here playing. If you hear racket in the background, I apologize, they're playing. So yeah, let's get this big leaf here because I, like I said, I want the leaves to kinda stick out over the sides, over the edges, you know. I don't want my leaves to be contained. That looks okay. So now let's just put a blob of glue there. And stick that down. So I am just going to continue cutting these flowers, gluing them in however I can get them glued in there. Go ahead and stick that. And then we'll come back once I have like the base layer of leaves and stuff laid down, then we'll come back and add some more stuff. Okay, so we have our base level of leaves glued down here, and now we can go back and put in some of the other little elements. I'm not using these, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put them in a drawer over here, and we'll use them for a future project, okay? But these pumpkins that had come from the um, from Dollar in General, I don't think I'm going to be using the turquoise ones because we have a different shades of green here, and I don't like using a lot of turquoise with green. I don't know. I just don't like that. Um... 
what well, this pumpkin here is white and these are sort of a cream color so I think I'll be using those um, just kind of nestle those on on either side there I think is what I'm going to do these kittens are going ballistic so yeah I think I'm going to use those so I'm not going to glue those down just yet um, let's just kind of just kind of nestle that one I don't want them sitting on top of all the leaves just kind of under that leaf there I'll glue those down here in a minute because I might move them around okay and now we have all of these now a lot of people have asked me how to determine you know, like what you use they feel bad I guess you could say for not using all of the elements in these big bundles of flowers that you get you don't have to use every single thing in those bundles of flowers like when you're in the store and you're looking at them and you're like oh i love these flowers except for you know maybe these plaid pumpkins so i'm not going to get it no you don't have to use everything just take those out you know use it for a different project so this right here i'm just going to trim off that extra bit of wire because i don't want to pull all this apart there's a bunch of different little pieces here so i'm going to hold it over here ah and put some hot glue on it and then i'm just gonna you see where i'm putting it i'm just kind of tucking it back down in there to use as a filler back in the day y'all remember when michaels used to offer like their flower arranging classes courses what do you want to yeah i took some of those and i used to love arranging flowers um you know the rules have changed now but um things are basically i mean they're kind of sort of the same things don't change that much but i don't like you bye bye Let's get you out of there. Let's see. I'm just going to trim this. Don't want those leaves. No. Come off there. All right. So let's put in our other glue stick. And basically all I'm doing now is I'm just filling in everything with these. And like I said, I'm going to be using battery powered lights. Don't put a real candle in here because of the heat. But, um yeah so now i'm going to glue these little pumpkins down because i think that's where i want them to be um might not use these flowers because these are so big i might take this other one apart use some more of these little berry sprigs but yeah that's basically all i'm doing now so i'm going to work on this for a little bit and then when i come back i'll, I'll take a decent picture of this so that y'all can see what it's going to look like in its entirety i'll try to put a candle down in here and turn it on um I might decorate this little container. I don't know if I do that, I'll come back and I'll show you what I do. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you would, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.